It is Sunday today, good afternoon. I'm headed to my friend's house south of me here in the town of Inman, South Carolina. He has bought himself a Tesla Model 3 and also a wall connector for it. And he's not gonna take delivery of his Model 3 for several weeks. But we're going down, we're gonna scope out his house there and find out where we're gonna put the wall connector and so there you have it i'm headed that way now and together we'll check it out see how we're going to get this install done wonderful day it's already 74 and it's only 10 30 a.m so it's going to be um, quite a warm day i think into south carolina here If you're new to electric vehicles, you know that you're going to have to charge them, and one of the best places to charge them is at home. You should probably install a wall connector. Yeah, you can install a high power plug and unplug and plug in the mobile connector all the time, but it's seriously inconvenient. I advise a wall connector. You don't have to get a Tesla if you have a Tesla, if you really got a version against the Tesla products and you want to install a charge point or any number of the other J1772s and then use the adapter, that's fine. A lot of those wall connectors are usually 40 amps because that's generally what a J1772 will do. However, you can get more power through a J1772, but you still need the adapter for a Tesla if you have one of those. I just prefer if you get a Tesla to get a Tesla wall connector. It's probably cheaper than buying a third-party wall connector and using the adapter. We're getting close to our first turn here. Yeah, you don't see this every day, golf cart on the road. It's kind of illegal, but they do it out here in the country. She was nice enough to pull off when she heard me coming. Whoa. Hey, little squirrel. He whiz. You find all kinds of things going on here in these back roads. Getting close now. And this is my friend Matt's house. We're going to go and see if we can get this thing installed. We've decided, uh, Matt here, that we're gonna come out of the top of the box through the knockout here, come up, come out, and then an LB takes us uh, all the way up to the wall, across with conduit, take it over here. We're gonna put the wall connector at the rated height, probably about four feet here, and the connector and the uh, conduit will go over on the wall and then down to the box. We are just back from Lowe's. Uh, Matt's here, uh, it's his house, and uh, we've got uh, 40 feet of three quarter inch conduit, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff we got. Here you go, two bags from Lowe's, full of uh, conduit and wire and just all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna hand that to Matt. And of course, here's Matt. Hey. Matt has ordered himself a Model 3, so we're getting the wall connector hooked up. Got another bag over here, Looks like more parts and pieces. Got that. And we got our wire. We've got, uh, what else, the conduit and then the tools. So I think we're good for right now. Let's uh, go and see if we can get some of this to fit. We started looking at the box here. And of course, across the top here, you can see all these knockouts. Well, we need to get the power out without destroying the look of the garage. So I drilled an inch and a half inch hole directly over this knockout. And as you can see my finger there, 
uh, we've come up with a right angle piece that should fit right through there and uh, go right through the hole and bring a conduit out of the box so we can run conduit outside inside the garage here. All right, uh, we have a right angle uh, piece here and uh, we now have a pathway for our wire to pass upward here comes out here and then we're going to stick a uh, LR here only because we couldn't find an LB. This is what's called an LR and the difference is this piece here comes out of the bottom here to be an LB or an LL it comes out here where my thumb is. So the whole idea of this contraption is the heavy wire doesn't bend real easy when you pull it but this you'll open the side up and we'll be able to thread it. So the LR here will go right here and it's snug against the wall. And then uh, we will run straight to a sweep that sweeps upwards and then it runs over to the wall connector. So that's how we got into the electrical box here. The LR is now attached here. You see we'll pull this hatch off the front and we were careful not to mess up the wall so you really don't see our gigantic hole, but we'll seal it up. And that's now attached and now we're working on the sweep that will go up the wall. We have the upward sweep now on and then from here we're going up and then putting another 90 degree sweep going just over the door. That'll be our next piece here. We did forget the couplers. That is uh, conduit to conduit couplers, but each one of these uh, ends or the conduit itself come with a uh, kind of a coupler built into it. So if we're good, we can actually get most of the work done without having to go back to the store. We've got the next section on here. This is called a sweep and we sweep down towards where the wall connector is. So we're all glued in place. And now we're going to go ahead and mount this with a connector to the wall. Keep it uh, rigid because we don't want to break any of our connections here. As the conduit grows over towards the wall connector, it's now level and attached to the wall properly. So it looks pretty good here when we look at it. The cover of the box will go on and uh, there we are. And those of you who knew, uh, our contractor shut the power off here, so uh, we're guiding him along uh, installing this, uh, but we're telling him what to do. Isn't that right, John? Yeah, he didn't want to, he didn't want to talk. Anyway, John, the electrician's installing this. We're just guiding him along. Uh, what's interesting about this box is the power comes in at the bottom. With all the electrical stuff that I've personally seen, I've never seen it feed at the bottom. Usually it's at the top, but circuit breakers don't care. So it's a cool idea. The wall connector back is attached and it's on there. So that's cool. Now we'll go up and we'll put a right angle sweep right on down in. Come on, John, let's get this done. So John mounted exactly where we wanted. Ended up uh, adding an extra screw per our our suggestion and uh, it goes up across it's actually horizontal right into the electrical box so we're done now what we need to do is just put some more brackets up on the top there and then uh, pull some wire we are done for the day we weren't sure what breaker to get and John didn't know so we picked a GE and these are square D and so I think we have to get a Siemens breaker so we're dead in the water. We're gonna resume when we get a new breaker, but the entire installation is installed. Conduits in, the wall connector version three is attached to the wall. Conduits here. All we gotta do is get the proper breaker, pull the wires and we're ready to go. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm headed back down to Matt's here. He's got all the remaining parts. We're going to get the wire pulled. John, the electrician, is going to meet us there and pull the wire and get it all hooked up today. And I'm 
supplying the Model Y here for a test vehicle. Wow, this is great. I arrived, uh, John had been here and pulled the uh, wires already. So uh, we're good to go. Uh, he's out at his truck getting the proper wrench. He's gonna go ahead and uh, attach this side now. And of course the wires are pulled all the way through. We'll need to stick them up under here, but we need to uh, shut the power off here on the circuit breaker panel. When John gets done with the wall connector, we're gonna attack this. Boy, John is awesome. Look at this. The cable's dressed around, down, looped around. Now we added the loop part because we're RF guys. We like the loop part. And uh, it comes in from the bottom and it connects to the two uh, hots and the ground. So I think we're ready to uh, hook up the circuit breaker now. All right, so uh, we've got the Wires pulled down. John brought out some slippery stuff, uh, pulling lubricant, and uh, we were able to pull the uh, wires down. So now they need to be routed around and down to the circuit breaker. Okay, John, it's all yours. All right, we now have a live circuit. Half of the circuit from ground to one side, 122, uh, 121 to the other side, and across the 240. 243.5, I think we've hooked it up correctly. Good work, John. All right, we're hooking the wall connector up. Okay, John, easy, this goes straight on. Just like that, that's all it is. How about that? Okay, I think we're ready for a smoke test. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the breaker. Watch out. Okay, standing clear. Okay. Hey, this is good. I think we're up and running. Now, it's gonna flash like this because we have to configure it. So let's uh, get our phone out here and get it hooked up to the uh, internal Wi-Fi access point. Looking good so far. All right, it's still thinking, but it's gonna uh, go into the setup mode, okay. Okay. Okay, so now the wall connector is hooked up and we'll have a, there it is, that's the wall connector login now, okay? All right, so far so good. Uh, then we need to set it set to 48 amps, which is correct. Uh, the circuit breaker uh, is set, see, 48 amps output current, let's just check it. Yeah, say so configure doesn't want you to do it. Good. 60 amp set for the breaker. That's fine. Back is here. Perfect. And uh, essentially that's it. You're on the air. We get to hook up the Tesla now and uh, see if it works. Hopefully it won't blow my Model Y up. Doubt it. All right. The last screw. Hey. Awesome. Okay. Done. Good deal. All right, now for the true smoke test. Let me back the Model Y up. What do you think? Yeah. Think it's going to work for us? It will. I'll do it. Okay, Matt, you're the man. Let's uh, plug it into my Model Y here and uh, see if the installation is uh, proven to be worthy. There we go. You press the right button, but uh, this sometimes gets dirty. All right, blue. Heard the click over there, and we're green. Come on, let's take it inside the car and take a look. Okay, look at that. 32, 33, 37, 40, and 48 amps. 236 volts, 48 amps, 11 kilowatts. Good, now we'll let it charge for about five minutes and then uh, we'll get out the FLIR camera and see if John knew what he was doing.
We're good. Good deal. And here it is, Matt's wall connector installed and tested and waiting for his Model 3. Good man. This is my friend Matt. Matt just bought a Model 3. You didn't buy the performance, did you? No, long range. Just the long range. Excellent. Well, he bought the wall connector. Uh, John installed it and we showed John what to do. So uh, your car is able to charge from your house. Now the Model Y is charging. What's your thoughts? It's great, never go to the gas station again. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I think John's gone, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, put the panel back together and I think we're good. Good day. Congratulations on your purchase of your Model 3, Matt. I Thanks. know you'll really like it. I'm looking forward to get it, yeah. We'll Excellent. take some weeks more. All right, last screw. All right, we are good. Good work, you can't wait now, can you? No. You check in the uh, reservation all the time? Every day. Every day, cool. Yeah. Well, you'll get your car soon. <laughs> okay. All right, well, enjoy your new wall connector. Thanks. I sure hope you found that interesting. You know, installing a wall connector is not difficult. Now, there are installations that are difficult, certainly. Uh, the one that Matt did, however, was not difficult. The power panel was located right in the garage, the same room as where the car was going to be parked and where it was going to be charged. So it's not an issue. It went together very well, as you saw. The Tesla wall connector is a excellent value at $500. It fits the car well and charges at a full 48 amps and without having an adapter. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown at the bottom of the screen gets you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.